Shout out to all the beginners out there who want to learn how to color grade S-Log in CapCut. Yeah, I know Premiere Pro is quite difficult. You know, you have to, you know, tweak here and there. But hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how to color grade an S-Log footage in CapCut in just a few minutes. Probably less than a minute or two or three or four. Let's go. First thing you need to do, go to your CapCut. I've already imported my footage into my CapCut. In case you don't know how to use CapCut, please let me know. I can do a full tutorial on how to use CapCut for you. All right? So let's go. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to import my footage into the timeline, CapCut timeline. I'll click Add to Track. As you can see, I shot this video on portrait mode. So I'm going to show you how to rotate your videos in CapCut in case you shot on portrait mode and you want to I'll rotate it so you can edit, all right? So I'm going to do this. I'm going to switch here. Uh, and I'm going to go to 90 degrees. And I'll drag to expand. Yep, and that is it. So now let's get down to color grading. You know, let me put my phone. Let me see how it looks. Okay, so this is how my footage looks. This is completely flat. Shot on S log with my Sony A6300. All right, so I'm going to convert it to Rec 709 on this tutorial. So, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go to my saturation and pump it up to 30. So, you can do more, you can do less, depend on the project you're working on. For me, I shot um, the video outdoor so i prefer um, you know having more saturation so the colors pop out so second thing i'm going to do i'm going to go to my highlight drop it down a bit shadows drop it down a bit then i'm going to go to my curves make sure you are on the first one which is the brightness that's equivalent to highlights in premiere pro so I'm going to take this down a bit, a bit, then also take it down, which is, um, in case you don't know, um, here is your highlights, here is your mid-tones, and here is your shadows. So what we are working on right now is the mid-tones and the shadows. So that's why I take it down a bit. And after that, we're going back to where we were. And I'm taking down my shadows more. Take down my highlights more. Add a bit of contrast into it. Yep. All right. So, then probably some sharpen, let's say five or, uh, it's too much. Okay, I go with, uh, Fine. All right. So here is our footage. Let's make this look nice. I'm going to go to my speed times and it's slow. So I can make this video go very slow because I shot it on uh, 120 frames per second. So I can make it go really, really slow. All right. So let's play our footage and see how it looks. Uh, I'm going to have my sound here. So this is how our footage looks. Stunning, right? Yeah, real stunning. Looks real, real nice. I like it. So let's go and see the before and after. So here you go. This was how we looked before we started our color grading, um, color balancing tutorial. And um, this is the after. From S-Log to Rec 709. So from here, you can add any fill you want, any fill at all from your curves. You can go down to the curve to do some color grading. Uh, it's only bit, so it can add some fill to it. Yeah, it looks nice. I just showed you how to color grade from S-Log to Rec 709. If you want more of this content, please do it to subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you in the next video.